Question number two is an easy one. Mark Philip Rini asks, hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I always ask Rogue Storm, that's my wife for those of you who don't know. My parents never told me. Where do babies come from? In case you haven't noticed, you've fallen right into my trap. Why from the baby store, of course. Why do you think there's a store called Bye Bye Baby? Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Question number three also comes from Mark, and this time it's a real tech question. He did genuinely ask that first one, but that was mostly as a joke. But I thought, you know what? He's been a longtime follower. I'll go ahead and answer it. I'll give it a real go, he says. Two 1080p screens, Ryzen 7 5800X CPU, excellent processor, 16 gigabytes of 32 megahertz RAM. <sighs> 16 gigs. Really? Okay. GTX 1070 graphics card. Amazing card. One of the best all-time value cards of the past decade. Love that thing. Two 512 gigabyte SSDs. One 1.5 terabyte hard drives. I've not seen those in a long time, but I do remember when they made them. He wants to know, what is my next upgrade? M.2, GPU, more RAM, Mostly plays World of Warships, Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, looking at getting back into playing Battlefield and Elite games. He has 300 to 600 pounds budget for the coming year, April 2023 to January, February 2024, already has 150 pounds in the bank saved. He is running out of SSD space is the most pressing issue he has. Well, you may be running out of SSD space, but your biggest issue I'm sorry, I'm just going to go there, the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, this is a contentious issue because I get a lot of comments from people who say that 16 gigabytes is all you need. You know, that's technically true. 16 gigabytes is all you need, but it is limiting, and it definitely ends up putting you into a swap situation, and with two smaller, older SSDs, that's not an ideal situation. With modern software in 2023, 32 gigabytes of RAM can really help your system breathe. You, sir, have two monitors. That means you're multitasking. You're running multiple things at once or you wouldn't have two monitors. It's a wonderful thing. You definitely need to upgrade that to 32 gigs. Thankfully, that is not expensive. As I'm recording this, you can currently buy another 16 gigabytes of RAM. Disclaimer, prices are in freedom dollars because I don't know what anything costs in the UK. I respect that you're from England or, well, technically you could be anywhere. You could be uh, England, uh, Scotland, Ireland, or Wales. Northern Ireland. Did I get that right? I'm sorry. I'm an American from Texas. It's a challenge at times. So I'm going to use freedom dollars and you'll just have to convert to your currency. You can buy another 16 gigabytes of DDR4-3200 for $35 right now. That is two pizzas or one really good pizza. Take your pick. There is no reason to not drop another 16 gigabytes of RAM in that system for $35. That will help with multitasking and giving that system a few more years of life. I love the Ryzen 7 5800X. Great CPU with your budget. Don't touch it. You can use that thing for years to come. The video card's an interesting one. The GTX 1070 is amazing. Genuinely one of the best values of the past 10 years. However, it's getting long in the tooth. It is absolutely 100% totally fine for 1080p gaming in most situations. If you were just going to keep playing World of Warships, Planet Zoo, Planet Coast, or that kind of stuff, GTX 1070 is fine. There is no reason, no reason to upgrade that graphics card for those types of games. On the other hand, you then specifically said Battlefield and Elite style games. If you want to play Cyberpunk, Yes, you can play Cyberpunk 2077. You can play Hogwarts Legacy on a GTX 1070 at 1080p, but you're going to be making compromises to the detail setting, compromises to the frame rate. It's not ideal. You can, again, in America, currently buy some very nice video cards in the $250 to $350 range. That fits within your proposed budget. Maybe not today. If you've only got $150 to spend today, I wouldn't put it there. I'd put it into more RAM and in SSD, which we'll get to in a second. 
but it sounds like you've got the budget over the next year to replace that graphics card. The upcoming RTX 4060 might be something you want to keep your eyes on. The 4070 is going to be too much at $500 and probably in um, the UK 600, which doesn't make sense for you. Not, not for these kind of things, not at 1080p, unless you're going to upgrade your monitors. But a 3070, an RX 6700 XT, or the upcoming RTX 4060, if it's less expensive, we don't have the price or details on that, would be worth considering. That brings me to your solid state drive situation. Now you don't specify whether your two 512 gig SSDs are M.2 or SATA, and it really doesn't matter at this point, they're small and tiny. Fun fact, you can currently buy two terabyte NVMe M.2 drives off of Newegg, again in the US, for $79 as I'm recording this. Now, those are not the fastest drives. They're not Gen 4, they're not mega fast, but that particular drive is a Team Group MP33. It is a TLC, SLC cached, but DRAMless drive. It's on the budget end of things, but of course, if you're on the budget end of things, that's what you've got to do. And its transfer rate is not as fast as, say, the MP34, which is altogether a better drive. And anybody watching this, if you look at the price of the MP33 and the MP34, and you can afford the MP34, get the MP34. The MP34 is twice the performance with a DRAM buffer, the MP33 is not. But typically, you're gonna spend 20 to 30% more. How much of a budget are you on? So you can absolutely get a two terabyte SSD for less than $100. There's no reason, there is no reason in 2023, the minute, in fact, your words are, I am running out of SSD space. It is the most pressing thing. Run, don't walk, two terabytes, problem solved. They're under $100. You can even buy premium drives for a little bit over that right now. One of my viewers was mentioning that Micro Center, US unfortunately, is currently running a promotion right now for $125 for a Western Digital SN850X. That is one of the best Gen 4 premium NVMe drives on the market for just over a hundred bucks. That is amazing. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. So definitely upgrade your SSD. Definitely add another 16 gigs of RAM. And then look at your video card, either new or used, possibly replacing that in the next year. I would not touch your CPU. From what you're describing, I think you'll be perfectly happy with that for some time. Sure, a Ryzen 9 5900X would be lovely. But based upon the budget you've given, keep your 5800X and game on.